I, I feel drawn to someone, but I'm gonna ask this question. Uh, I feel like there's a, a younger person here with me, a child lost, um, but I also feel very drawn to someone else, but I don't know if this child belongs to this person. Um, would anyone understand uh, the loss of a child? But raise your Zoom hand, okay. Let me put mine up to and so we can be next to each other. Okay. Okay. Well, that's why I felt that. <laughs> okay. So the way I work is you'll see me looking to the side and occasionally taking some deep breaths. That's normal for me. And I will um, give a few pieces of evidence. I do feel that this is a male energy. So if you have a child that was a male energy, um, that is what I'm feeling. Oh, there are five hands raised. So this will be interesting. And okay, so we have, all right. Thank you guys. Um, I can see this child as a young boy. Um, I actually feel like there's more than one coming in now. So now they're all trying to, to talk. So let me stay with the first original son. And what I'm hearing is unexpected sickness. So this child had an unexpected sickness. So if you're still with me, keep your hand up. Okay. And, and he's saying it's as if they thought, the doctors thought he could survive this for a time, but he didn't survive as long as they thought he could, like he was thought that he was getting better and then he took a turn for the worse. Okay, everybody still, okay, we're narrowing it down. Okay, thank you ladies, thank you so much. Um, Cause I'm seeing him in like some type of children's hospital. Um, I can see him in the bed with the like rails on the side. Um, if that's making sense, just keep staying. Um, and now he's starting to show me how it's, it's emotional. Um, you were bringing things to him, trying to make him happy, trying not to let him see how emotional you were about it, trying to make his last days as happy as possible so he could be at peace as much as possible. Um, he definitely spent telling, showing me images of him in the bed in the hospital. Um, and I feel like maybe he lost a clump of hair or this is just the angle he's showing me. Um, would, let's see, Diana or Nicole, um, would you both understand the hair? Diana, if you could unmute yourself or just give me a thumbs up. Um, okay. I see you, Nicole. You can unmute yourself if, if you'd like. And he's saying, I, I really feel more drawn to you, Nicole, maybe because your picture's on, but he's saying, mommy, mommy, I know you did everything you could do. I know you did everything you can do. And I feel like you're, you have some, um, maybe survivor's guilt or something that you feel like, if I only would have done this different, if I only would have done that different. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, I'm just seeing like, he's just keeps showing me like the, I don't know if this is the color in every hospital, but he's showing me like the blue, like scrubs and like blankets or sheets or whatever in the hospital. He's just showing me the scene. He keeps showing me that scene. Um, 
and like sitting on the bed and like playing with the little toys and stuff, trying to keep his mind as occupied as possible. Now he's showing me like a little electronic pad that makes little noises. Do you understand that? Yes. I do. He's yes. like trying to learn. I don't know if it was words or animal noises or something like he's pressing the buttons, making the beeping sound. And he's like, he's like, you know, if I wasn't sick, my mom would be really aggravated about the sound because it was noisy. But <laughs> like he was, he was like, you were more patient because you knew your time was limited. Um, he's talking about your your sense of disbelief during his illness like it was like what what how is this hat like i can't even believe this is happening like this can't be real like you almost couldn't wrap your head around the fact that this was really happening to your child do you understand that mm -hmm. okay oh you're kind of freezing a yes. little okay thank you i'm sorry yes no 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 it's the internet <laughs> um <laughs> He just, he's just so thankful that you did things to make his days happy when you could. Um, and that he, he's saying he was very at peace with what was happening. He wasn't, um, he wasn't old enough to be jaded and like, this world is crazy. Like he was so innocent still that he, it was almost as if, he came to an acceptance of this before you did. Like he was more um, centered and content with what was happening. And you were not, um, obviously as a mom, um, but you almost got strength from him is how he's making me feel. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. And like he was comforting you and you felt even guilty because of that. Yes. Because you're like, I'm the mom, I'm supposed to comfort him, but he's comforting me. But it was meant to be that way because we, you know, plan the challenges that we're going to come into this life with. And he almost was like an old soul, more mature than the other boys his age and kind of was more advanced. And so he knew that this life would be shorter than a full life. And so he was like, okay, I know what the plan is. So I can comfort my mom. And he was very loved. Um, all right, he's showing me something interesting. Um, he's showing me you pregnant, which I just presuming you were pregnant with him. Um, like he was a biological yes. child. Okay. Um, and he's showing me like all your hopes, like you were rubbing at your belly and, and just how much love he felt even from then. And he was very safe. He felt very safe and secure with you. And he just wants you to know that mommy, you did everything you could, nothing, you could not have changed anything. Um, Um, so I, I'm just getting this like cancer, leukemia, something on that realm. Was that okay? Thank you. He's, you know, as horrible as it is, he feels very much completely surrounded by love and support. And it's almost as if if you could have been there 24 hours a day, you would have been there 24 hours a day. Like you never wanted to leave his side is how he makes me feel. Do you understand that? Yes. And he said, but mom, mommy, actually he was saying mommy, um, you have to have your own life. So don't feel guilty if you had to leave. It's okay. You have a life too. 
and he wants you to forgive yourself. Forgive yourself for anything you're holding on to that you feel like you could have done differently because it wouldn't have mattered. You did everything you could. And he just really keeps saying that. You did everything you could. I was loved. I felt safe. I had a wonderful life. And and you showed me that love. And that's that was his lesson for being here, to feel love from you. And you gave him that. And I want you to know he loves you very much. And um, when I looked at you, I could see your little light behind you on the wall. And he, in my mind, he flashed it. So pay attention if you see any flashing. Do you see that? Electricity? Like, I haven't like, seen the flashing lights. He gives me, he gives me signs every day. Okay. Okay. Good. Um, good. <laughs> Wonderful. Just, I will give you all his love and know that he is safe and at peace and he knows how much you loved him. And thank you for allowing me to connect with your son. Thank you. You are very welcome.